Welcome to the new Retro Games Room series. Now this is how my games room was looking before. All in one row, all the consoles were set up together, plugged in, linked via the cables into the TV. Now I really like this setup and only actually redid it a few months ago. I was absolutely loving it, it was fantastic. But having said that, I've had to do a full revision of the room because along this back wall here where all the cabinets were, we were getting damp and mold coming in through the wall. So I've needed to put it all away. So essentially now we've got this new side set up. I've got a Nintendo shelf on the bottom with my retro consoles and some of my Nintendo Amiibos just chilling out there. I can change them out, swap them round every other week, can make it look cool as I want. I've got my joysticks at the front, got some of my other figurines and my awesome Tanuki Mario, which I absolutely love. So I've then managed to set up my Sega shelf as I had before on top. We've got the nice new magnet on the side to display that with my, my Dreamcast, some of my Amiibos. So over onto the other side of the room, I've got a space for the retro consoles. Got my Mega Drive plugged in at the moment. And then we've got my Nintendo Switch dock. I've got PlayStation Corner. I've got my nice new pink PS2. Some of my Monster Hunter figurines hanging out there and my PS3 to go along with it with my Guardian Amiibo and little sack boy there. Um, over by my radiator, I've got my old Guitar Hero gear. Um, there's the director's chair, that's the camping chair where the magic happens from. And then I've got some of my storage crates nicely in the corner with some of my games in, uh, some of my other accessories that didn't fit anywhere else. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Do stick around because there'll be more upcoming episodes for the Retro Games Room series. Yes, mate.